All right, so now that we have our paginator complete, we're still going to want to provide more information to the user. Uh, so we'll, we'll want to know how many results are showing, what number of results to what number of results are showing, what page we're on, how many pages there are, so on and so forth. So very simply, uh, like you saw when we initially set out to build this paginator, I also created um, or was going to create in our user management dashboard a uh, paginator details. Uh, so let's do that here. So we'll say import paginator details. Now the reason I'm adding this separately instead of providing this on you know within that uh, within that same component is because some areas we are going to want to show a paginator with the details and some areas we're not going to want to do that. So I'll give you an example. First of all we'll build this out so pagination and then we'll say paginator details dot view. Let's go ahead and create that file. No, sorry, not in there. Pagination. Paginator details dot view. Perfect. Okay, so we'll say details here. Now let's save this page. Great. Okay. By the way, if you're ever looking at at uh, one of your templates or you're looking at the compiled page and the changes aren't showing up, just a, a word of advice, restart your uh, NPM run watch. Um, what, I've happened, have, what I've seen happen on other projects that I've worked on, who haven't had it so far here, but sometimes in the process of adding this and adding this, it doesn't get picked up in the compiler. So we actually have to restart it where it goes through and, and make sure that all pages that should be recompiled when changes are made are recompiled when changes are made. So at any rate here, we can see, okay, it's, it's pulling it in here adequately. Now we need to bring it into our components. We need to register it. And I'm going to add this paginator details right to below paginator. Paginator details. Okay. And again, we'll, we'll add pretty much the same details except for the event listener um, as we have on the paginator. So we want to make sure results are not equal to null. And we want to bind results. Okay, that's all we need there. So let's go to our paginator details. Let's go to uh, our screen here. Put this in here and you can see details are now going to go in here. So I'm going to put the details as an H5. It's going to be basically a simple string that we put in here of words. Let's first of all bring in the data we need. So we'll go script uh, export default. And then uh, we're going to show the props. Let's see if paginator is still console logging. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we'll have to go back. We'll have to get rid of this. But uh, at any rate, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our page here. I'm going to pull up the console again. Uh, we'll look at the object here. And basically what we wanted to read here is showing uh, number to number of total number um, and then maybe with a with a pipe to separate it then we'll go uh, page number of number uh, page number to number of number or sorry page of number uh, for the actual page so we have all those details here so to start with we'll show two from and to so we're showing results 1 to 20 that's great so we'll say showing results dot from to results dot to of results dot total. Well, so let's see what that looks like here. Great, showing one to twenty of two hundred and fifty one. Now with a pipe 
put that in there and we'll just say page uh, results dot current page uh, of results dot last page. Now let's see what shows up there. Perfect. So showing 1 to 20 of 251 results. Page 1 of 13. Now I want to put the paginator also at the bottom. So once we scroll down, we can very quickly and easily uh, move on to the next page instead of having to scroll down or, or to scroll back up. So let's go ahead and do that uh, in user management dashboard simply by copying this and then putting it at the end of our table again. Okay, so let's see what this looks like now. Great, okay, and then from here. Okay, and we can do that. One other thing I'm noticing here is when we do actually click on it, I do want to make sure that we're at the top of the page. So let's add a quick little bit of JavaScript to the view uh, under get page. And we'll say okay let's see here let's see what that does for us perfect so that again sends us back up to the top of the page great we're at the top of the page again and we'll see all these numbers change so showing 61 to 80 251 page 4 of 13. so that is uh, our paginator fully functioning and working along with the details so in the next video what we're going to do is work on uh, creating uh, a user in the system and then from there we'll move on to editing creating logs so on and so forth